Welcome back to ULEARN Tutorial. Head over to Bosomic.com. Bosomic is a low-fi or low-fidelity wireframe that designers can use to create a wireframe for the clients. It's a very simple tool that is a WYSIWYG program where you can drag and drop an interface as well as widgets. To get started, go ahead and log in. You can either log in to the Bosomic Cloud or you have the old version. You can log into My Bosomic, which is a web app. This is one of the first screens that you'll see when you log into Balsamic. And one of the cool things is that you can actually create your project or you can upload a project that you may have created or someone else have done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create your project. And what it will do, Balsamic will automatically create a new project on the side, open a new interface for me to go ahead and start working on my project. If you notice on our interface, we have all these different icons. They're pretty well straightforward, just hover over it and then they will give you a, a little title tag to see what they are. You also have all these different widgets from containers, forms, icons, markup, you name it. The good thing about Bazama is it does all the work for us. It creates all these widgets for us so that we can just drag and drop onto a canvas. So let's get started. We're going to drag and drop. So we're going to click and hold and drag it to my canvas. And there we go. We've done a first widget, put it onto our canvas. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Again, I'm just going to drag, click and drag it onto my canvas, and that's it. If I want to edit this page to mimic a real web page, I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it, and I'm going to call this web page. I'm going to say, Welcome to, to Mr. Clean, and my website is going to be mrclean.com. Click on the canvas, and it applies it. Now again, the size is kind of off. It's 450 pixels by 400 onto the, on the right-hand side. In the browser window, I can change that to any size I want. I'm going to just go ahead and type in 1280 by 720 as my window. Now the cool thing about this, I, was, I clicked off onto my canvas area. Because the guy who created this, the founder of Bazaar is one of the senior engineers at Adobe, or used to be, I should say. So the cool thing about this is that some of the keyboard shortcuts that is within Adobe is also part of Bazaar. So if I hold down the space bar on my keyboard, I get the hand. That allows me just to pan things around. If I wanted to minimize my screen here, I can go Command or Control minus. Okay. And the same thing if I want to zoom in. Command plus or Control plus. So it's very intuitive with what they had created this whole interface for us. So the next thing we want to do is actually maybe try to recreate this just as an example. So what we need to do is we're going to have some text. So on up here in the top part here, all your widgets here, you got so many different types of widgets that you can use, which is a cool thing. I'm going to make try to make it clean and simple. I'm going to use a line of text and it basically just tells me what to do. It says drag and drop or double click to add. So if I want to double click it and, and, and if you double click it adds it anywhere on your page. Um, of course I just like the drag and drop because I could tell you where I want to drag it. And I'm not saying you can't pick it up and drag it around but yes you can do that. It's very simple, very easy. To align it to your windows for example, um, align it to the whole window browser uh, I'd like to select all three. So again, hold down the shift key to add all three. And then you just use the controls up here for the alignment issue. So this will be my line center. So the next thing we want to do is add some icons or some image or some pictures and all that. Again, we want to keep this simple as possible so there'll be no color in these wireframes. Basically, what you want to do is try to get some feedback from your client. For some icons, if you want to look for an image here, I have it right here called picture outline. So you can just do, like I said, just drag it out up from the widgets and all that, which is great. The one thing what I like about this is that I can actually look for PayPal. I can look for LinkedIn, for example. Where's LinkedIn? Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. I just saw it right here. I can drag that in as well. I'm going to do something even something easier. In here, if I'm going to put my social media on, on the right-hand side, I can actually select it. In my right-hand side of my icons, I can type in, say, LinkedIn. And there it is. And just select it. So basically, I could use one of the icons here and just change it up. So I do say Facebook. I can use that one as Twitter. Okay. So that is very simple. If I want that back to a picture icon, I can just type in picture icon and there it is again. So again, it's very easy to do. Okay. If you notice here, some of my icons are not really aligned properly. So I'm going to select the four here, for example. 
hold down the shift key to add to your selection. And I'm going to go into the controls here and for alignment, I'm going to use a space out horizontal. So this will space it out properly. Now if you notice here, it's still not aligned. It's, it's spaced out really nicely. So I'm going to do the, do the center, align middle. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing for on this side too as well. So I'm going to select just the, uh, hold down the shift key. So just the three are selected. I'm going to do the horse space at horizontal. And then again, do the same thing, do the middle. Okay. And then what I may do, right, so I do that, I'm going to select both of these, or these four, and maybe I group it. So I'm going to go Command G or Control G to group it. And then I select these two, just the, oops, just my text and my text in the middle. Uh, oops, what's going on? Oh, it seems like I had accidentally grouped the text here by accident. So I'm going to go ungroup it. So I'm going to go Command Shift G to deselect it. So let's try that again. Oh, let's just do there. Okay, group these two. And then group select again my icons, just the icons. Okay, and group it. Just make sure. Yep, just those are good. So once I've done that, I'm going to center it towards my Mr. McLean, or sorry, Mr. Clean, I should say, not Mr. McLean. Okay, so it's centered to my to my browser window. Next thing I'm going to do is then I'm going to center my icons to this text and use the align middle. There we go. Okay, so again, everything is, is you want everything to be aligned nicely. You want everything to be showing very professional to your client. Okay, so next thing up here, what we can do, we can add some, what else do we have here? We got some icons, we got a search box and some picture boxes. So let's do that right now. Icons and widgets that are being used in Bazaar. Click on common and it shows you everything where everything is. So in here, I'm going to grab the image here. I'm going to resize it. So again, same thing how we have in Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and all the Adobe products. If you hold down the shift key from a corner, you can resize it proportionally. If you don't, I'm all about having everything to be constrained. So I'm going to duplicate that. If you want to duplicate another object without doing Command C or pasting, you can go Command Option Shift, and that allows you to have a duplicate copy of the same one. As well, when you hold down the Shift key, it goes on the same line or spacing as it is. So if I want to duplicate all these three boxes again, I'm going to select one box first, the second, hold down the Shift key, and so the third box. To do to make a duplicate copy is to click and drag, for example, and then hold down the Option and Command key. And what this does, it will duplicate the exact same copy. Shift, Option, Command key. If you notice here, it's, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be. It's going to. It's kind of snapping to the grid here, or so, or the points. Okay, so it's not as I'm trying to go in the force to the right, and it's just it's, it's a bit harder to do. The one thing I do notice that I can still move this around, Command Z to, un un to go back to it. I'm going to right click it and I'll lock this up. So this, what this tells me is that I am no longer able to move this browser window at all. I could do the same thing for my social media icons. I could do all that, but for the time being, um, I think I'm, I should be okay. And then again, I'm going to go up here and then I'm going to just space this out properly like so. I'm going to just do each row to make sure. Uh, another thing I may want to do here is take some of these icons, or maybe I'm going to grab another icon or image. So I'm going to grab an icon here, put it down here. I'm going to change this to be, say, picture, because I do like the picture icon. And I'm going to put it in here at the top right hand corner, just to show that these are actually images as well. Anytime you see a big X, it, is, it tells people it is already an image. Now you could take you could go as far and add an image icons. Uh, it's probably not really necessary. It's kind of a nice feature to have it, but you know it is what it is. It just shows that there isn't an image here. Next thing up here, we can do another line of text. So I'm going to grab some text here. Just put it like so. The cool thing about this, as you can see, you have some some guidelines coming in here. These are called smart guidelines. So it's actually aligning to where it is. I don't have to use a ruler or anything. It just tells me where it is. So it's just kind of a nice thing to have. I have another line of text here. 
put that over there here. There we go. You make it that a bit longer. Make make this maybe a bit shorter. Okay. And again, I could ask. I could actually use these other text boxes as well. Um, again, it all depends on what you want to use it for. Um, let's grab another image here. Make this a box or so. It could be a guess call to action. Okay. And I'm going to just make it very simple. I'm just going to copy this, Command-V, Control-C to copy, and then paste it in. And I do it again, paste it in. There we go. Okay. So if I go back to my very first one, it is a little bit different, but that's okay. Uh, the one thing we didn't have on Mr. Clean, it is a search box. So let's add that search box. So we will unfortunately need to, hmm, where should we put this search box here? Okay, let's just drop this down just a tad bit. We'll maybe center it towards this line of text and maybe we'll put it up in above here. Okay, so let's go look for a search box. Okay, I'm not sure where it is, so I'm gonna just do a search for it. I'm gonna go search box, oops, search. There it is, I'm gonna type it in and enter it in for me, great. Okay, there we go. So we have that. Now, if you notice on my on my knockoff, I actually did a square with a magnifying tool. I kind of like that look as well. So let's change my shape here. So I can change my shape on my on my control box here. Change it to a rectangle. Voila. And if I want, I can do a microphone. So I've always speak, which is kind of cool. Let's do that. So the cool thing about a balsamic, you don't need to save. It will automatically save because you are in Adobe Cloud. So that you don't have to worry. So once we've done our first page as our home page, I'm going to select my group here, of my icons and all that. I'm going to go Command Shift G to ungroup it. It goes from the nice purplish to a ungrouped feature. And now I can go inside and select my Twitter icon and I can say a link. So actually, you can actually tell you where you want to go. So you can go to a new web address, a new wireframe, duplicate of it, or anything like that. I'm going to set to a new web address, and then here I would enter in my my Twitter handle or whatever it is. Okay, I'm just going to go to twitter.com and do the same thing with Facebook. I can go to new web address, and I just type in facebook.com. Say OK. And the same thing for LinkedIn. New web address, and that can be to LinkedIn as well. I, if you notice here when I was entering the names, I didn't bother with the HTTP or anything like that. I automatically did it for me. Um, in theory, I guess you should have. Um, if you want to make it more official, you can actually add the HTTPS as well because it is the it is the correct web link, I think, with the security and all that. Um, so just make sure. So this way, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, protocol and all that. So goes to an area. So now it says HTTPS, which is the correct standard for entering a web URL nowadays. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some breadcrumbs to this page here, just to be consistent with some of the other pages. So I'm going to select all of these at an icon, push it up just a tad bit here. And then in here, where's my breadcrumbs? I'm under text here, breadcrumbs, just drag it over here. Go. Maybe I'm going to push this up a bit here, so I'm going to select it. Command Shift G to unlock it. Just move this line of text just a bit touched. Um, I won't need it for the home page, so I'm just going to delete that here. Uh, or I can leave it on here so that I know that when I duplicate this page for my other pages, it will be in the same spot and can delete it. So let's just leave it here as is, just as a placeholder. Just got to remember to delete it when it comes time to clean up the home page. Fine tune my home page because we're going to be duplicating this page a few more times so that we have a navigation that does not hiccup from page to page. So in here I'm going to do is originally this was actually a group I had a group to accelerate before I did this video here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. This is supposed to be my navigation. It's going to delete that. And in my inside my text here I have my link bar I'm just going to drag that down a bit here, pop it down, and I'm going to just change this up a bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on it, and we have the home page, the products page, company page, service page. 
this is going to be about us or about about us yeah sure about us this will say be basic services oops and this will be a contact us okay and say okay I'm going to click off it yeah I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure this is centered within my browser so I'm going to have it selected hold down the shift key select my Actually, in this case, I can't select my my web my window browser because it's locked. So I'm gonna unlock my browser here. So I'm gonna right click it, unlock browser. So now select my navigation, hold down the shift key, and now select my window browser, and then cent center it. Okay. And again, I'm gonna go back to my window browser. I'm gonna lock it, right click it, lock browser because I don't want my navigation or my window browser to be moving around here. Um, next thing I may just do as well, I may have it everything centered. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to see if I'm going to do a marquee selection. So I'm going to just drag, click and drag my selections here. If you notice here, if it's great, it's being, it will be selected. And if it's white, it's not. So that's all selected, which is great. I'm going to just bump this up to just a tad bit here. I'm going to deselect it. So I'll hold down the, oops, I'll say. Accidentally deselected here, so that's okay. I'm going to reselect it here. So I'm going to select these objects here. I'm going to group it, and then I'm going to take these one, I'm going to unselect it, and then group these items here. I'm going to select that one here. I'm going to group that, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and select my icons on the right, and then I'm going to align it to the top, like so. Nice. So it's nice, nicely done. I'm going to group these two items. My sorry, my name. And my navigation, I can make it just a tad bigger, like so. I'm gonna make sure it's aligned to the centered and group it. And then select these two icons and then align it to the middle. Okay, there we go. Okay, so again, it's, I want to make sure everything is aligned. I've noticed here I have a little gap here of sort of like a padding. I got some padding here as well, which is perfect. Go back over here. Uh, this is aligned to that, which is fine. And I may just do is just drop that down a bit just to align it just to the bottom here. Again, everything, I just want everything to be neat and tidy. Okay, so there we go. So we already have our home page saved, ready to go. Um, it's automatically saved to the cloud. Okay, so once we have that, uh, I'm going to be changing it a bit right here. We are going to double click on the name on the on your navigation here We're, because it's grouped let's go ungroup it so command shift G okay double click on the navigation and again we need to change this up here it's going to be home it's not going to be products it's going to be about us or about and uh, the company that's going to be their services and this is going to be your contact information and hit enter okay there we go uh, next up, we want to do here. Then we want to duplicate this page. This seems pretty well straightforward. Don't worry about this. We could actually change this now if you want to, but for the time being, we don't need to, um, just because we're going to be changing it anyways in the end. So let's duplicate this three times. So one, two, three. Okay. So in the very first, you can double click on it to access to rename your 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 page. So this is going to be about us. Um, you can in the drop down menu you can go rename here. So that could, that could be our services. And this one here again, you can double click or click on rename in the drop down menu, and this will be our contact. Okay. If you want to rearrange the wireframes again, you just have to click on where you want it to go. So I'm going to select my about, click and drag, and you can see I'm dragging here. So basically, you're just clicking and dragging. Click once on it, hold on your mouse, and then drag it underneath your where you where you want it to go. Now, do you guys remember how to to zoom out of your page here? If you do, great. If you don't, it's going to be Command minus. Okay. Command plus to zoom in. And do you guys remember how to pan around or zoom it around here? Or sorry, pan around. So again, spacebar allows you to pan, P-A-N, pan the your window around.
Okay, so you're going to do that for all your pages just so you can see what you're doing. Okay, so once you have created your navigation, and when you create after you create your navigation and you have the pages. Now you can go inside and actually set up your, your, your menu here. At the time, you can't do it because we don't have any pages. So now you can say this is your, your home page, which is Mr. Clean. Your about is about services, services, oops, there we go, service, and then contact. Okay, so you can do that. I would actually do that for all your pages. And we can go back to the McLean page. Remember, we didn't need to have the breadcrumbs up here, so because it's grouped, I'm going to ungroup it. So it's Command Shift G to ungroup it, deselect it under my canvas here, select that, and just hit Delete. If I want to, I could actually keep one thing here. I'm not sure it's going to do it. Uh, no, I don't think I can actually. This going to let me see if I can actually just have the home. I don't think I can, to be honest with you. So select that all, hit home. No. So it does have here, it gives me the home, but it gives me the breadcrumbs to continue on. It kind of looks kind of ugly that way. So I'm just going to select that and just say delete. It may give you a little bit of open space here, which is fine because when I go to my next page, it will be something there as well. So I'm okay with that. So I haven't decided what these four images are going to be. It might be my services, to be honest with you, different services for Mr. Clean. Uh, and these could be different text box information or maybe images. I haven't yet decided as well. But let's go to our about page. And this is going to be our about page. So let's go ahead and change this to be about. So double click. Oops. Can't double click here. So ungroup it. So select it. Ungroup. So Command Shift G to ungroup. Double click on the on your breadcrumbs. It's going to be homes. And this is going to be my about page. About us, I guess. Okay, there we go. I don't need to have all these images here, so I'm going to go ahead and just be. I'm actually going to do a marquee selection. Just do a marquee selection, and then delete. Do a marquee selection for the bottom here. Oops, typically I didn't select all of it. Okay, make sure you select everything, and then I'm going to get rid of that little icon. Make this nice and big. Okay. Go and again, if you notice here, I'm not past the just trying to make everything is, is aligned to what it should be. And then this one, I'm, I'm going to keep all this here and I'm going to delete all this information here. I would actually, I would actually delete that too as well. I'm going to go to my text box here as our text icons, our widgets, give you some different styles here. So I'm going to say drag a block of text so that's nice and easy. I resize that here. Okay, so I'll align to the left. Um, I can also add some more. What else can I have here? Just so you can have an idea. I can also use this. This is a line of text. This, if I have any links, this tells you how to do it, which is great. It gives me a reminder. You get us a tag cloud. So if you want some tag clouds, I can do that as well. I'm going to delete that for now subtitles again so there's so many different ways of doing it you can actually ha have a label as well okay you can also have a text area which is kind of cool so you can ask a text area okay so there's just a block of saying this is a text area kind of thing okay i can double click on it as well and you can add just a whole bunch of your own text here whatever you may have and then just click off it and there we go Okay, so which is actually kind of cool. If you know the, if you already have existing content, you can go ahead and copy and paste it in here to give it more of a realistic effect. Um, so it's a nice touch, of course, but you don't really need to. If you want to, you can actually use Lorem Ipsum, for example. So it's called Lipsum.com. There's so many different ones you can do. You can do cupcakes, you can do movies, you can do Batman, whatever you may have. Um, type in how many paragraphs you want. You can just do two paragraphs or one paragraph. It doesn't really matter. Click on generate Lorem Ipsum. And basically, Lorem Ipsum is Greek. So basically, you just copy and paste this stuff in here. You can just copy it, Command C to copy, and then go inside, double click it, paste it inside, and then it goes right inside here. So, which is pretty nice to have, actually, to be honest with you. There's your text here. Okay, so again, there's so many different ways of 
We're putting your text in here. It's a nice way of making it as realistic as possible, and so you have. Now, if you notice here, this is going to be my color is, is black. I have a border around it. I don't really want a border, so I'm going to make it white so that it doesn't look like you know this is a block of text here that is a special text here. So I don't want I just want it to look like text. It isn't realigned yet, so I'm going to make sure, try to align as possible. I'm going to just use my 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 two eyes basically just for alignment. It's not giving me the, the alignment I want. And once you're happy with that, there we go. So again, it is now saved. I can call it because it's on the cloud. I can do that from our service page as well as my contact page. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, you're welcome to watch. So I've come to realize I made a boo-boo on my wireframe. Yep, I made a mistake. And so what I've noticed here that when I select my line of text, it doesn't go back to my home page. This is going to be my logo. So I'm going to right-click it and go to Transform 2. This will be the easiest thing of what I like about Bazomic. You can transform anything to something. So I'm going to change this to be a title. I'm going to change this. I'm going to double-click it. This is going to be Mr. Clean. Okay, there we go. Uh, because I'm going to fill this line of text up a bit, I'm going to center that. And then in here, I can actually tell it where to go. So this is going to be on my home page. Okay. And then basically, I'm going to do that for every page here. So I'm going to again go to select my about page, transform, scroll to the very bottom to be title. This is going to be my home page. Call this Mr. Clean. Okay. Oops. Center that as well. Okay. And again, I'm going to do that for every page. So that's what I like about with Bizomic. I don't have to go in and replace it. I'm trying to figure out what it is. I can actually just say transform and then away it goes. So that's a nice thing with Bizomic. Now I should be able to, when I do test it all out, it will work as how it should look like. One of the cool things in Bizomic is that you have two different files. You have a sketchy kind of wireframe, and you want to switch over to a different skin called wireframe, which is more of a more professional-looking wireframe. To get to that, just change. Let's do my deselect here. Underneath the word share, there's like a file icon, show project information, and then you can enter some information about your about the project. Down here is a sketch, so this is what a sketch looks like. Switch over to wireframe, and voila. It looks really more professional looking. I think it works. Pick whichever one you like and then stick through that throughout the whole way. You can also change the, the fonts uh, as well as the size, add some color and selection. Again, I don't add any colors to my wireframe. You want it very straightforward. If you want to share this project with someone else or your client, on the very top here, there's a share button. So click on this once. This is you. You are the main administrator. Um, you can also tell what what do you want other people to do so you can they can edit they can view and comment and you can also set connect access project as members you can also invite people so you write down their email addresses or names and then invite them and then here is a link here that you can copy and paste and give them this link to allow other people to look at it if you have a client meeting in your office and you want to show the your wireframe to your client 
in person. You can click on, you can create your own full screen presentation. Click on the play button below your picture here. And basically you have some settings here for yourself for a review. If this is a user group testing here, these are the same one as the review, but it gives in it some understanding and what it is. You go set some custom settings, but for the time being, we're just going to review and close off this box. Um, basically, if it shows a pink arrow, this will tell you that it is a link. Um, if you click on any of the links, it would actually go there. So my belt page, my service page, my contact page. If I click any of these social media icons, it will take me outside of Bosomic, and I don't want to do that. If you're done with your presentation, you can go ahead and hit escape. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.